Katie Sheridan grew up on a farm in Alaska, and she loves her home state. As a family physician in Soldotna, she treats people she's known all her life. I really absolutely love my practice. I love what I get to do every day. It's always a surprise. <laughs> Katie became a doctor through the University of Washington School of Medicine and a unique program called WAMI. It allows students from surrounding western states to complete their medical education while keeping one foot in their home communities. The WAMI program was a wonderful opportunity for me because it was a great way for me to go to school and still spend a lot of my time in the state of Alaska. WAMI is an acronym made up of the first letter of the five states, Washington, Wyoming, Alaska, Montana, and Idaho, that became part of a revolution in medical school education. Started in 1971, WAMI was the direct result of discussions between UW doctors, community physicians, and others concerned about a rural health care crisis. There were 434 town cities and villages in Alaska, and 404 of them had no medical services at all, not even a nurse. So it became obvious that we did have a bit of a problem. We had additional problems in Idaho and Montana, and that was really probably the beginning of the WAMI program. Dr. Jack Lehan, Dr. Robert Van Sitters, and Dr. Roy Schwartz joined forces to change the very mission of the University of Washington School of Medicine. They saw an obligation to produce the type of physicians most needed in rural areas. What they needed was family doctors. Most of the physicians in smaller places are primary care physicians. They're the foundation of the healthcare system. And of course, the University of Washington is at the vanguard of that because we have emphasized primary care medicine ever since the WAMI program started. That was really the moment in time when the medical school changed its goal, changed its mission. The first community clinical unit was started in OMAC, Washington. The program started modestly by placing medical school students from Seattle in rural primary care clinics. It was a matter of getting them out of here and seeing a different way of doing medicine. Then, the WAMI program went a step further. What if students, drawn from the member states, could complete most of their medical school education outside Seattle? Smoke, so that would be an issue in Montana in the summertime. Today, curriculum from the University of Washington School of Medicine is available through colleges such as Montana State University in Bozeman. They do their first year in, in Montana, their second year in Seattle, and then in the third and fourth years, they can be anywhere within the five-state region, and um, they can do almost all of their third and fourth years in Montana if they really want to, or they can do almost all of it here in Seattle, or they can spend part of it in Alaska or Idaho or Wyoming. While paying in-state tuition rates, students in the WAMI program receive a world-class medical education from the University of Washington, delivered primarily in locations of their choice. We do try to encourage students who come from these smaller communities to go into medicine because uh, there's a higher likelihood that they will come back either to that community or one that's very like it because they're used to that lifestyle and they've grown to like it. And so these are usually hypersensitive. I grew up in Glasgow, Montana, which is in the northeast corner of Montana. I'd like to go back to a community similar to that because I saw the discrepancies in healthcare and just the the difficulty they had recruiting physicians. The WAMI program has several initiatives encouraging young doctors to practice in rural communities. Between their first and second year in medical school, most students spend their summers working with preceptor doctors where they see rural health care firsthand. So there they are acting as student doctors working with the physicians and it's just an eye-opening experience for them. Former WAMI student Peter Rice went to Alaska for adventure and stayed to practice medicine. There's tremendous amount of need and opportunity for well-trained physicians here and what it allows us to do um, is to practice really high quality medicine in a town that's surrounded by wilderness. So what many saw as a grand experiment back in 1971 has grown into a program unmatched in the U.S. Close to half of WAMI graduates end up as primary care physicians. Almost two-thirds choose a lifestyle and a practice in communities within the five-state region. I would never have believed that a program would grow to this um, complexity and richness. None of us would have. Mm -hmm.